Hey, what's up, YouTube? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here to start menu. Then we're going to type quick space assist to pull up quick assist. Another way we can do it is go down, scroll down on our programs to Windows Accessories and pull up quick assist. Now, once we pull up quick assist, you have two options. You have the give assistance and then the get assistance. We'll be giving assistance, but the person on the other end will be clicking get assistance. So we'll click give assistance. Once this comes up, it pulls up um, a sign in that you'll have to use your Windows Live account info. Now, if you don't have one, you can create one. I'll enter mine now and click sign in. Now, once you're signed in, you have 13 minutes and one second to give the person on the other end the security code that's provided by Microsoft. Now you can give them that through Skype, text message, email, a phone conversation, however. And once they get that code, they'll click um, get assistance, enter the code, and then click allow. And then that's when you'll see your screen start to spin saying connecting. Now once this pulls up, you see the Windows desktop of the other, the person on the other end, which is my mom. This is her system. I'm giving her assistance. Now, if you look in the top left-hand corner, it says um, the user mode is administrator. I have full administrator rights over her system at this point. So the first thing I want to do is um, pull up malware bytes. I can see her full desktop. Everything's there. I want to make sure her updates on malware bytes have already been ran and they're current. And they are, so she's good to go there. We'll close that out. Now I want to pull out Windows Defender and make sure her updates are current and good to go there. So we'll wait for this. Um, need to check something here, but yeah, was it should be up now. All right. So if we look at our updates on Windows Defender, they're up to date. Now I could run updates. What I want to do now is go into System Info. We can resize this to actually fit this full screen. So we'll resize it. Boom. System info, her Windows is activated. Now, one of the problems in Windows 10 is the install RAM versus usable RAM. Her install RAM is not matching what it should be on, us on, um, on usable RAM. Even though she's 32 bit, she should at least have like 3.5 gigs of RAM available. So I know how to fix that. I'll let you guys know. But now we're going to open up programs and features. And what I want to do is uninstall AVG. I will not be able to. I need to do a restart. But I'm going to hold off on that. So I'll just go ahead and uninstall um, AVG Web Tuneup. So we'll exit out of this. And then we'll pull up the Web Tuneup. Let's just go through. Now, I've been using AVG for years. Um, I really like AVG. But one of the problems I have at this point with AVG is that pop-ups, I know they have to make money, but the way it advertises those pop-ups, people like my mom really don't know that when they click that link, they're actually going to have to buy something. And, you know, she calls me every other day about these pop-ups. So I'm just going to remove AVG. We're going to rock with Windows Defender. Because for Windows 10, it seems that Windows Defender is actually pretty stable. So we'll just rock with that. Now that we have that uninstalled, I want to show you guys. Um, let me close this out. Now that we have that done, I want to show you guys annotations. Check this out. Now, on the other end, you can use annotations to communicate with someone. If you lose your Skype connection or you're on the phone. I'll type O-H-I, you know the rest. <laughs> yes, I'm a Buckeye fan. Believe that. So we got that going. We can pull out the task manager, and we can um, kill their processes if they got something running in the background. We can see everything that's going on with their system. We can pause the session, and then we can do a restart, which I'm going to do now. Now, one of the cool things about doing a restart with Windows Quick Assist is this. You do the restart, their system restarts, and then once it comes back up, all they have to do is click allow and the session actually continues. 
You cannot beat that. This is the thing I love about Windows 10. I mean, aside from the fact that it's a lot more stable, you know, there's things that I do not like about it. It's like the tracking, but as far as this, it's a great tool. And I hope this video has been informative for you. If you like this video, please click the like button. Um, feel free to subscribe and share it with your friends if you feel like this video could help someone out. And as always, I thank you guys for viewing. Peace.